What is art? You can think about it for hours, you can have debates over it, or you can think of it as this really basic thing. It makes you think, it makes you feel. It's pretty most of the time, but it can also drive the economy. And there's something happening right now in Grove City that's really special. Just drive through Old Town and you see art everywhere. There's murals, there's not one, but three. Every year there's new sculptures popping up, and they're incredible. And where there's art, there are artists. In a little town like Grove City, there's a lot more than you think. And they need a home. A home not just to create art, but to share art. While I wouldn't consider myself an artist in any category, I love art, I love music, I love theater. And for eight years I left Grove City and I lived in New York, and I fell in love with the culture there. It was one of those places that just felt alive. And when I came back home, I kind of felt like I wanted to bring a lot of that culture back with me. Uh, but what really surprised me was when I got here, the culture was already here. Meet Sarah Hempel Arani. She's a sculptor that worked for the former artist in residence at the Washington National Cathedral. She has worked on major sculpture commissions. She currently works out of her small garage. She came here from a thriving arts community in Frederick, Maryland. A mother and a wife, she has made Grove City her home and has spent years dreaming of an arts community in Old Town. Now, she's making it happen. Then there's Christy Yates, a painter, community developer, and a mom of four little ones. She's passionate about the intersection of the arts and community development. Having lived in places like Boston, Vancouver, British Columbia, and Memphis, she knows how the arts can be a vital part of a revitalization of a place. She has recently hosted full concerts and pop-up shops in her own house for local artists. And she would love to see those painting and community arts events become more accessible and spark a greater change in downtown Grove City. Meet Marianne de Quattro, a theater director. She's a drama professor at Point Park University and creator of the Grove City Art and Theater Camp and also founder of the Grove City's Paper Sky Theater. It's a theater without a roof. Her dream is to create a summer theater festival in Grove City, Pennsylvania. She's passionate about mentoring students about the arts, and she usually can be found reciting theatrical mayhem in venues across Grove City. This is why we need the Grove City Artworks today. This is just three of the artists living in Grove City right now. There are painters, photographers, sculptors, tie makers, musicians, and they need a place and this isn't just for the artists, this is for the community. So I hope you guys are ready for the parties, for the concerts, for the poetry readings, the gallery showings. We're gonna make this a space for the entire community. Help us create this incredible space. By giving today, you are helping shape Grove City's future. As a thank you, we're gonna give you anything from a mug to a tote bag to an original piece of art to even a party in the gallery. Look to the side for more about our rewards and look below for more about the Grove City Arts Council and what we're trying to do with the Grove City Artworks. This space is going to happen. We just need your help.